Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Nick. If you like learning different lettering techniques, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos. For today's video, we are going to create this beveled letter B in script. We will use the bevel letters, procreate brushes, and stamps. It looks a bit complicated, but it's really not. Just follow along the tutorial and create with me. Step number one is to draw our letter using one of the inline brushes of my bevel prograde pack. I'm going to use round inline light to draw our letter. Let's just reduce the size a bit. Perfect. Step number two is to extract the inline and letter form. To do that, we're going to duplicate the layer twice, hide the two layers, and we're going to use selection on automatic to select everything except for the black inline. And then hit erase. Okay, let's just clean this up a little bit. So we don't want this loop. So we're going to use our eraser just to simplify the design like that. here as well. Maybe shorten this a little bit. This one too. Now we're going to extract the base layer. So we're going to use selection automatic. We're going to select the outside and slide our Apple Pencil all the way to the left to get zero threshold. Then hit invert, color fill. Next, let's invert our inline so that we could see it and then clean up our letter. So for this one, let's use the pen tool. Let's fix this a little bit. Then extend this. And close it to give it a flat end. Color drop. Step number three, we're going to add a 3D effect and a cast shadow. So we're going to duplicate our base layer using motion blur. We're going to add a little bit to the lower right. When we're done, we're going to use selection to fill everything. So we're going to select the outside, slide to the left to get 0% threshold and invert. Then let's lighten it by using hue and brightness, bring it up so that it's not the same color as our base layer. And then let's just move it to the right position. This corner is so here. It looks good, okay. So now we're going to add the cast shadow. We're going to duplicate the base layer again. We're going to use motion blur again, but now to the lower left. This direction. Same thing, we're going to fill it with black. So using selection, threshold to zero, invert, there we have it. Let's just reduce the opacity so that we know that that is drop shadow. This, everything feels too big, so let's just select everything and scale it down a little bit so that we have some space for the cast shadow. Okay, I think this looks okay. Move it up a bit. All right. Now for the cast shadow, let's position it correctly. Now to step number four, we're going to draw the bevel guides. So I'm going to open up a new layer. I'm going to use a different color, maybe yellow. 
then let's just add the guides we're in. We're gonna cut the colors. So maybe here and here. Here as well, here, and then the ends to the corners, yeah, just that, and here as well. Make sure you don't miss any. Now that we're done with this, let's just lower the opacity so that it's barely visible. Now to step number five. So the inline splits the letter into two sides. To make coloring and blending the bevels easier, we're going to separate the sides in different layers. So to do that, I'm gonna duplicate our inline, hide the original one, and then we're going to color just one side of our letter. So. Since this is just one entire piece, let's just connect the ends together like this. Connect them. And then let's just fill maybe the inside. Alpha lock, fill layer so that the inline is gonna be in the same color. And then let's tr just try the clipping mask it. So this is what we want. One side is in a different layer, the other side is in another layer. So, remove the clipping mask. Right now it looks like this, it's super messy. What we can do is, we can use two, our two fingers to select our base layer like this. Turn off color fill, make sure it's off. Invert, and then erase, okay. Now it's clean like it's been clipping masked. Now, to step number six, since we have ends, Right here, we're gonna start drawing the beveled ends. But before that, let's pick our color. For this, I wanna color this blue. So let's just pick a blue color, maybe this one. And then on a new layer, let us use the four color shades brush to create our color sample. Like that. As easy as that, we now have like a reference guide on what color to use. So this will be the lightest and darkest. The lightest will be for the faces facing upward. The darkest will be for the ones that are facing downward. This one for the, this one for those facing right. This one for those facing left. So this one, oh, let's bring back the inline so you could see it. Okay. So for this one, this is facing right. So it's this color, we're gonna color pick that. Switch it back to our pen. And then draw our triangle. Oops. Make sure you hold it so you could edit it. Connecting from the end of the inline to the corners of the ends. Fill it. Okay. This one is also facing to the right, so you're gonna use the same color. Draw a triangle like this, edit shape. corners like that okay this one is facing to the left so it's this color draw the triangle edit shape connect it there. perfect so let's clean it up like what we did earlier. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add these into a new layer. So let's just select these, slide down, cut and paste. So that is a different layer from the colors. Now let's move it down just above the yellow or just below the inline. So we want to erase the excess. So we're gonna use our two fingers to hold down our base layer, invert and clear. There. Now they're at the right size, okay. Step number seven is we're now gonna color the bevel faces. So let's use one layer at a time. Let's go to the black layer. So make sure that it's on alpha lock. Let's alpha lock the yellow one right now so we won't forget. Okay, and now let's start coloring. 
So this top part is supposed to be the lightest color since it's facing up. So we're gonna color pick that and switch to a bigger brush and then brush and color the entire thing like that. Now this one is that color as well, so let's color it now since we already have that color selected. So now this is facing the left, so we're gonna color pick this color and color it. We're gonna follow the guides that we created earlier. Okay. Let's color this as well. Oh, we forgot this side right there, that end. So let's switch back to our triangle layer. Okay, and then let's color pick this one. This one is facing down, so it's gonna be the darkest color. Switch back to pen. Let's draw the triangle. Connect that point and the corners. Oops, color filled the wrong side. Yeah, done. Oh, sorry. I made a mistake. Let's draw the triangle again, add its shape, make sure it's at the right point, this one too, and this one, there. Now let's clean it using two fingers, let's select the base layer, which is this, invert, and erase. Now it's at the perfect size, okay. Going back to the black layer, we're going to continue coloring this. So end it here so now let's choose the darkest color because that part is facing down which is this one switch back to the thicker brush and color following the guide there, oops. There. let's continue with this this is facing right so I'm gonna choose this color to color this face This one is facing right as well, so let's go ahead and color that now. Okay. This part has two parts. One is facing upward, the other one is facing down. So for facing upward, let's color it like that. All right. And for the part, oops, that's facing down, so it's supposed to be this side. Side, this side. So this one's facing down, so let's color pick the darkest color right here. And then color it. There. Oh, we have this part left. So it's supposed to be the darkest, which is this color. This one is facing right, just a little bit. There, we're done coloring the black layer. Now let's color the yellow layer. So let's select that layer and then start coloring. So this one's supposed to be the darkest, color pick that. This one is right, facing right, so it's this color. And cut it, following the guide. Now this is the color going up, so it's the lightest color. There. Okay, for this one, it's facing left, it's this color, I believe. since it's the same. This part is facing up, so I'm gonna use this color. Okay. 
this part, it's gonna be the darkest color, which is this. There. This one is facing up, so it's this color. This is facing right, so it's gonna be this color. Lastly, this is facing down, it's this color. There. I think, I think we can remove the guides now. So we've colored our beveled faces. So now, let us blend them. So using smudge tool, let me make this. Dark, a bit darker so that my work is not too bright all right so let's now blend these so using the blender let's just lightly blend the colors like this switch to the other layer so if we didn't divide both sides into two layers, when you smudge this, you're going to mix all of the colors together. This part as well. It's okay if you don't clean that because we're going to smudge this anyway. This one. All right, we are now finished in coloring our beveled faces. So now we're gonna color the background and the 3D effect. So for the background, I want to use something in this color. Okay, maybe lighter. This color will do. Now we are going to color the 3D effect. So it's going to be a darker blue shade. So let's color pick this as reference and pick something dark, maybe this color. Turn on alpha lock and fill layer like that. Okay, now we're going to add the highlights to this. So on a new layer above it, add clipping mask, switch to white and brush let's now color the parts that are supposed to be light Right now, let's just blend it. Oh, since we have the shadows up to here, let's raise this a little bit. Let's blend in this one as well.
let's lighten it. If I bring the opacity down, I mean, darken it because it's too bright. Maybe change to overlay. Now to finish this off, I'm going to add some grain and texture. So on the new layer, just below the inline, let's use some grain. So I'm choosing fine grain. So I'm just gonna cover this area. So it's up to you if you wanna cover the entire thing or just specific parts of this. Okay. Oh, let's remove this color guide. Delete that. And then clipping mask everything. Let's darken this cast shadow a little bit, just a little bit like this. Now for the green, it's too strong, so let's change to overlay and reduce the opacity just a little bit. Okay, so that is not too strong and obvious, but there's still green in it. Lastly, I like to add some texture. So on a new layer above the inline, so textures. I'll just use the same texture, so I'm going to switch to black and cover the entire canvas with that texture. Okay, and then change the blending mode to overlay and reduce the opacity just a little bit. Okay. I kind of want to adjust the contrast, so let me just hide everything except for actual lettering and then let's copy canvas and then paste so we have a double hate of this bring it down let's hide everything that we've shown there now let's adjust the curves to get a better contrast on our bevel script letter B. I think I'm happy with this. And we are done. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see your stunning bevel letter B. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. The brushes we use are from this brush pack, the bevel letters, prograde brushes, and stamps. I'll leave the link in the description where you can get the pack. More tutorial videos are coming, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.